I'm back, and we are on Ghoulies 2. I love Ghoulies 1, um, and yeah, I love the Ghoulies series. Uh, they're weird-looking little monster things, and yeah, it's just a really funny, good horror movie. Hellraiser and Hellraiser 2. Yeah, Pinhead, yeah, he is cool, and I love watching... Uh, the Hellraiser movies, but it's kind of disturbing in one part of Hellraiser where the guy get he skins his brother and puts on his brother's skin and uh walks around. Okay, yeah, that part kind of was disturbing. Okay, we have The Dark Half. This is a Stephen King movie, and if you guys haven't seen it, I read the book too. Uh, it's about a writer, and he writes uh, this character, and he tries, and he kills this character off, and the character kind of, he, he comes into the real world. Uh, this guy had a, a, a twin that he didn't know about uh, that was in his brain. Yeah, he was like one of those, you know, when the twin doesn't fully develop. And they take that twin out and they bury it. Uh, and this character kind of takes on the form of that twin. And it's like really cool and disturbing at the same time. Uh, the Shining. Uh, don't remember if this is the original The Shining or the Stephen King uh, version. But I love both. Uh, Along Came Polly. Um, it's a comedy movie. I haven't watched it in quite a while. I'll have to watch it again. Uh, Christine. Yeah. Stephen King movie. I love Christine. Um, a boy in his car. Yeah. I love the car in that movie. It is like so cool. Uh, not that it kills people, but just the look of the car. I love it. Uh, Jersey Girl. Uh, yeah. This movie, I can't remember. I know Jay... Jennifer Lopez is in it, and um, it's something about that she dies, and Ben Affleck um, has to raise their daughter on his own. Uh, Amityville 2, yeah, uh, this is closer to the original Amityville, like what uh, about the DeFeos. This is kind of close to the DeFeos real life story. And, yeah, it's sort of like a prequel to um, the first movie. And we have Little People, Big World. I love that show. Orphan. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, crap. Okay, uh, we are back. Yeah, we had a little tef technical difficulty with the battery on my camera, uh, on my phone camera. Uh, Orphan, this movie didn't totally disturb me uh, until, like, recently when, um, did you hear about that? Like, uh, these people adopted this girl from, like, the Ukraine, and... They said that she was a woman and not um, not the child that they thought they had adopted. She was like a, a little person woman. Uh, yeah, that's the plot line to this movie. Um, these people adopt this uh, girl and they think she's a little girl. But she ends up being a psychopath woman who is trying to kill... Uh, the wife and the family, and she's trying to kill off the kids so that she can uh, end up with the husband of this family. And yeah, it's it's creepy because like that, that's something that could really happen. Um, this one is the last house on the left. Yeah, this is a freaky revenge horror movie. Um, yeah. I seen the original and yeah, the original is very is very disturbing and the remake is cool. 
Uh, because, yeah, the way that these people take revenge on these people that uh, had killed their daughter is, like, really amped up in this movie. And, um, yeah, this guy, I don't know how they did that, uh, this scene, because, um, does a microwave not work when the door is open? I don't know. The microwave does not work when the door is open. But anyway, this guy puts this other guy's head, um, this, he puts the head of this guy that had killed his daughter, uh, leans this guy over, puts his head in the microwave, and kills him. But, um, yeah, he must have, like, wired it up where it would work with the door open, but, yeah, it was kind of weird and cool at the same time. Jason lives, this is one of my favorite ones, um, the favorite ones out of the sequels. Uh, this is where Jason comes back with a vengeance. And he, like, it's cool how he comes back. It's sort of like Frankenstein-like. How he, um, gets brought back to life. Uh, backstory. This is about, uh, Halloween. It's a documentary about, uh, the Halloween movies. Okay. And then we have Golden Years. Uh, this is another, um... Stephen King mini series, and yeah, I haven't watched it in a while, but I know it's it's one of the ones that I could not find for so long, and then I found the VHS and I converted it over uh, to DVD. Uh, Redneck Zombies. This is a goofy zombie movie. Um, I won it on Listia, and um, yeah. It's just really goofy. It's by that uh, trauma. The ones that uh, made uh, the Toxic Avenger. Ghoulies 3. Another cool Ghoulies movie. I love the Ghoulies. I think they are so cool. And so weird at the same time. Big Driver. Uh, this is a um, short story. Uh, a movie based on a short story by Stephen King. And yeah. It is really disturbing and yeah i i flinched the whole time i read that story if you guys know what the story's about i don't want to get flagged or anything by uh telling exactly the plot of the story but yeah if you've read it you know what it's about um google it uh rear window alfred hitchcock movie and yeah it's um where this guy he breaks his leg and he's um got a telescope uh jimmy stewart is the guy in the movie and he's uh watching his neighbors and he sees one of his neighbors kill his wife and he keeps telling all these people yeah um that guy killed his wife and they don't believe him because they think he's just like been um in the house too long and his mind is going uh you know just going and yeah it's really good. Uh, Wishmaster. This is, um, it's a movie about an evil genie that grants people wishes. Yeah. And Fear.com. Um, this is, this is a really good horror movie. I, I think I found this, like, DVD, this, uh, VHS for, like, uh, couldn't have been more than a dollar at a thrift store. And it's about this uh, website that these people are watching um, these people being tortured. And they're like, you know, this is like not real. They're like, you know, they're saying, oh yeah, it ain't real. You know, this is just like fake. Because like people become desensitized uh, to violence after a while. So they're like, nah, yeah, this they're just faking this, but it's not and uh these cops are trying to find this guy that's doing this yeah really good horror movie okay just hold on just a sec i need to get a drink of my soda because my throat is dry okay um we have the twilight zone uh this is some more episodes of the twilight zone i love that show saw two good sequel to the Saw movies, but after a while, they kind of became kind of, you know, they started to lose their steam. Uh, the Grudge, 
Yeah, uh, yeah, this movie kind of freaked me out. I know they're making another one, another, like, remake of it. Uh, but when she's washing her hair and the hand comes up out of her head, yeah, that kind of freaked me out for a long time. I'd be, like, washing my hair and, uh, yeah, trying to feel to make sure there wasn't a hand coming out of my head. Uh, Pumpkinhead, Blood Feud, uh, not that great of a 